I'm at work and on my lunch break. I watched a video this morning by Mike Sears, and it's called How I Got Into Metal. And uh, I liked it. It's like 17 minutes long. It's a good story that he wrote about getting into, you know, heavy metal and all different types of metal. And uh, he likes hip hop and does hip hop videos and stuff. And I do the same thing. And I've always liked hip hop and I've always liked metal. So I decided to do a video response and tell you a little story about me getting into metal. I'm a little older <clears throat> than Mike. I was born in 75, if you viewers don't know that. So in the early 80s, as a kid, I was listening to pop music and rock music. That's what my parents exposed me to. But in the mid 80s, you know, I started hanging out with friends and stuff. And I, I had one friend, was my best friend growing up. His name is Matt. And uh, he had a brother named Will. And um, he was rock and roll and metal all the way well i say rock and roll because when he was younger in the 70s he was about three or four maybe five years older than us at the time i'm not really for sure i think he's about four years older but um he um he liked kiss and stuff so and kiss i consider kind of rock and roll it's not really metal or anything but uh he bought he used to buy cassettes like crazy and at that time we was you know 10, 11, 12 years old, he was a teenager, and uh, he was a little bit older than us, like I said, and he was working a job, and, and every time he got paid, he went and got, you know, cassette tapes, and he was getting metal and stuff, and uh, I remember going into his room and seeing ACDC, of course, that's more like rock, like I said, but he had Black Sabbath, and uh, Judas Priest, and Ozzy Osbourne's single, um, you know, his uh, solo stuff, I'm trying to say, I can't think right now. And um, that got us really turned on to listening to a lot of that stuff. And then, you know, as time went on over the next few years, his taste got heavier and heavier. And then as we got around him, we got to see other heavier stuff, you know, like Metallica and Megadeth, Slayer, um, shit, who else, Overkill, all that, the Testament, all the, the thrash stuff back then, it was thrash metal and... Um, and Motorhead, I consider Motorhead pretty kind of like thrash, you know, in the, in the late 70s, actually maybe almost started that. You know, you got the big four with, you know, Metallica and Anthrax and Slayer and uh, Megadeth. But, you know, you should put Motorhead in there too, I believe, for the fifth one. But, um, so, you know, at, and at the same time, me and him ha had our own thing with, you know, hip-hop music and stuff and starting out at that time with Gangster Rap and Ice-T and N.W.A. and... And, you know, I listened to other things like Public Enemy and, and um, um, LL Cool J, stuff like that. But that's a different story there. We was, you know, listening to that, but we was also listening to metal, too, you know, from his brother and stuff. And, um, and then into the 90s, you know, I started spanning out on, you know, just listening to a little bit of everything. But I always liked metal and hip-hop the best. And, uh, you know, of course, getting into the 90s, you, you got into stuff like Pantera and to me, Pantera is probably the best metal band that came out of the 90s. Well, like I said, you know, from my friend's uh, brother, you know, Will, he got into heavier and heavier things. There's a train going by now. Hopefully you can still hear me. But, um, yeah, he got into heavier things. And like I said, Pantera and... Um, what other things like death metal you know some death metal and stuff you know in the 90s uh, cannibal corpse you know uh, morbid angel and uh, just all kinds of shit it's kind of hard to obituary was one of them that we thought was great and that was the greatest name for a damn band I believe is obituary and just the, the way they growled and and sung and stuff and a lot of people don't get it and they think yeah, it's just stupid or whatever them guys played and and then did side what uh, I think his name is Glenn Benton that sung for him Jesus Christ there was the evilest band I think I ever heard of back then and his brother would play that shit but he also still listened to you know some other things and started getting into like more like some alternative stuff or whatever you know and everything so you know I started listening and I listened to Nirvana and Pearl Jam stuff like that but then sometimes when you just want to punch a fucking hole in the wall you put in Pantera man you know just just in the angry and shit and you just different moods for different music and shit for you know that time 
and uh and then you know in the early 2000s i got into corn and a few other bands like that that were you know not as heavy at times you know and it was a different kind of metal and um there was some rap metal or what new metal is what you want to call it or you know that where they put hip-hop and um metal together but i never really got into a whole lot of that I, you know i remember Limp biscuit and some other bands do that shit and and even Corn kind of did a little bit, but I liked uh, Jonathan Davis pretty good and just uh, his vocals and everything. So, you know, and a lot of people gave me shit for liking Corn after listening to the Pantera and all that other shit, said I sold out or whatever. And uh, so, but uh, I can uh, I can really relate to Mike talking about his family not liking him listening to metal and stuff. And then people was telling him I guess, you know, his friends and other people he said that was telling him that liking metal was liking uh, white man's music or whatever. And, and I don't, I feel the same way he did because when I was listening to hip hop in the early uh, 90s, mostly, you know, growing up, a lot of people was like that towards me and stuff and, and thinking, you know, I, I don't see it that way. You know, if you like music, you like music, like he said, and listen to what you want to to uh listen to you know metal or or you know hip-hop reggae whatever i mean i like a little bit of everything but metal and hip-hop is my favorite and i just wanted to do a little story about that you know hanging out with my buddy and, and his brother and getting his car and he would drive us places and we'd be listening to you know in slayer i never said nothing about slayer but i don't think i did maybe in the big four when i said something or maybe not shit i don't know but I just had to do this video real quick, and uh, I'm going to post it here after work. But you'll be seeing it right now, you know, and it's, it's after work. And I'm probably chilled back right now and relaxing or going on my walk or whatever. So um, I do go on my walks in the evenings. But anyway, check out Mike Sears. I'm going to put the link to his video underneath here. His video was probably 10 times better than mine. I just wanted a little story about how I got into that. And, and I might do that for hip hop and other things that I like and music related stuff, you know, cause I, I do like a lot of different other types of music. So till next time.